Step 5. Debt Sam was not looking forward to this step. He had an uneasy feeling that his credit card debt was creeping up each month. But Dave was calmer. He said, the first thing we should do is write down all your debt so we know what we're dealing with. Then we check if you have any of the red flags that could indicate a significant problem. The red flags are things like having credit card debts above 5 to 10% of your income. You don't pay off the full amount of your credit card every month. You only pay off the minimum amount. You only pay off the interest and or you use debt to pay off debt. If Sam met many of these criteria, Dave was going to suggest that he get professional support. Sam said he didn't always pay off his credit card debts, but didn't meet any of the other criteria. He remembered that Dave had said, debts steal your future, and mimicked Dave saying it. Dave further explained that it's more than financial. It prevents you living life and taking the risks needed to reach your aspirations. Sam and Dave put together an inventory of Sam's debts. It was important to know what they were dealing with. They included his credit card debt at 18% an overdraft at 12% and a personal loan at 8%. Sam made a commitment to himself not to get in debt again to fund his lifestyle. He would only use debt wisely to invest in his future self. Dave asked Sam how much he paid on each every month. Dave then showed how much he was paying only interest and how much was actually paying back the debt. He also showed how long it would take for him to pay back each of his debts. He wanted Sam to see the other side of compound interest and to realize how much it was really costing him. Sam was surprised that he was paying a lot of interest. Sam asked about his student loan. This is a tricky one, said Dave. The government had set up the loan scheme in such a complicated way that it actually worked more like a tax for Sam. For others who had a smaller loan or earned more, it would be worth paying back earlier, but not Sam. The next step was to decide on how to pay down the debt and manage it as quickly as possible. Dave explained the snowball method, where they start with the smallest debt and then work their way up. This was best for people feeling overwhelmed by all the different debts and wanting to have fewer different debts to worry about. Sam and Dave agreed to use the avalanche method instead, where they pay off the highest interest rates first, while only paying off the minimum payments on the rest. This meant Sam ended up paying 25% less overall and 50% less in interest. He could also pay it off much quicker. Sam made a commitment to use 10% of his income to pay off the debt and he would immediately increase his investments once complete. Any more and he might have to go into debt again. They wanted it to be manageable but still pay it off as quickly as possible.